you. Police have watched on as neo-Nazis staged a march through Melbourne's CBD, terrorising commuters. The group was filmed performing Nazi salutes as they boarded a train, asking commuters if they were Jewish. Hidden under masks, the group gathered around 1.30am first at State Parliament, then at Flinders Street Station, with a banner reading, Expose Jewish Power before doing the Nazi salute on an escalator heading to a Werribee line train. Victoria is the neo-Nazi capital of the country. And when I saw those images, my heart was ripped out. One report said the white supremacists handed out cards for the National Socialist Network and confronted one commuter who had a blue and white handkerchief, asking if he was Jewish. They simply cannot be allowed to roam public transport freely and target individuals just because of their race or their background. The intimidating group of around two dozen also sang a white Australia anthem. Australia. Police following them the whole way. They should have arrested them. Uh, if this is an incitement, I don't know what is. It seems to me as though we're, we're chaperoning these, these thugs. We're not stopping them. I was heartbroken that Victoria Police did not arrest for the stop to this ugliness, to this outrage, to this despicable evil. Police say there was not a breach of the peace, no reported incidents and no offences detected. It was just a few hours after a peaceful rally at Caulfield Park to support Israel. The Nazi salute is not yet illegal in Victoria. The proposal to outlaw it is still before Parliament. The maximum penalties set to be a fine of more than $23,000 or 12 months jail or both. It's unthinkable, it's unimaginable, it's not Victorian. Paul Dowsley, 7 News.